Hey guys, it's Emma and welcome back to The Simple Environmentalist. Today we're going to be talking about glass. How sustainable is it really and where does it go when we dispose of it? So a couple videos ago, I talked about this with plastic and what inspired me with that video was noticing how much plastic ends up on the shores here in Okinawa. And I, I know what happens around the rest of the world as well. So I wondered, why? Why is there so much plastic on our shores? Why is there so much plastic in our water? And I explored that in that video if you'd like to check it out to learn more about where does our plastic really go and who actually takes care of it for us. Hint, we don't take care of it ourselves. So we're going to be exploring that with glass as well. Do we take care of it ourselves? Where does it get shipped? Does it end up in the ocean too? Stay tuned to find out. That sounded like a... <laughs> like the intro to a news channel or something. You see a lot of people, even not a part of the environmentalist movement, who are advocating for less plastic, which is great, don't get me wrong, but is plastic our only problem? And that got me thinking and made me want to explore other materials that we dispose of and see if we have a crisis with those materials as well. Maybe not necessarily a crisis, but is glass really as sustainable as we think it is? And that's what I wanna get at in this video. I've even said it myself in plenty of videos that you should avoid plastic and opt for additional packaging to include glass. And so it got me thinking, which really is better, plastic or glass? And I will leave one of my favorite zero waste YouTubers, her name is Gidamary, I will leave her channel link down below. She explores this on her channel as well which material really is the most sustainable to purchase. We'll get into that later. So Get a Mary mentioned this in one of her videos as well, as well as my good friend Sarah on Instagram. They both talk about the life cycle of glass and surprisingly, glass has about the same decomposition rate as plastic. It takes glass about a thousand years to fully break down, whether it's in landfill or whether it's not, whether, you know, like in the ocean or something. That means that glass is no better than plastic unless glass can be recycled because as we learned in my last video in this series, that only about 9% of plastic ever created gets recycled. So clearly plastic isn't great. And since glass ranks up there in terms of how long it takes to break down, it's really not that great either. But unlike plastic, glass can be recycled an infinite amount of times. And that's good news, right? Well, yes and no. Yes, because recycling glass and turning that into a new product is much, much better when it comes to pollution than it is creating virgin glass. It reduces a lot of air pollution and water pollution as opposed to creating a new product. Of course, it reduces space in landfill. It prevents something from sitting there and taking thousands of years to decompose. And in fact, recycled glass is almost always used in the process of creating new glass anyways. Even if it's not 100% recycled glass, it still contains some recycled glass, which is pretty cool. But glass also isn't necessarily better than plastic because like plastic, glass is also oftentimes a single use item. So sure, I brought a lot of glass in here <laughs> to demonstrate. So sure, my pickles and my soy sauce sat in my fridge for a couple weeks. That's it. I use it until the jar runs out and then I put it in the recycle bin. I mean, this would clearly make like a great bulk jar or a vase or something. But honestly, when it comes to like soy sauce or maple syrup, like what are you gonna use these for? They're just such weird shapes. And again, like plastic, Glass also takes thousands of years to break down, so that also does not make it better than plastic. Americans dispose of about 10 million metric tons of glass every year. Two thirds of our glass that we put in our recycle bins still ends up in the trash. But why is this the case if glass is so infinitely recyclable? Quite honestly, a lot of it boils down to three main issues. Lack of government recycling policies, particularly in the US, lack of customer education and willingness to recycle, also mostly in the US, and just like with plastic, because glass is contaminated. So if you missed the first video in this series, I still highly encourage you to check it out, but plastic and other materials cannot be recycled if there's any food waste left on it. So for example, let me just keep pulling out my jars. This curry jar, if we hadn't rinsed it out, it wouldn't be recycled. And when we put this dirty curry jar in our bag full of recyclable glass, because one thing contains food waste, the entire bag is at risk for going to landfill every single piece of glass in there, whether it's clean or not. So a lazy hack that I do, that my friend Sarah also does, is because honestly, it would be so complicated to like wash this out because it's so tiny. So just throw it in your dishwasher and you have zero work, zero effort on your part to make sure that this gets properly recycled. So the number one thing that we can do as consumers to give our recycling the best chance of being recycled is to wash it properly. I cannot stress this enough. I stress this in so many videos. <laughs> please do not leave any food waste on your recycling. And that goes with grease too. So if you have greasy pizza boxes, that cannot be recycled. And like I said, I can't stress this enough either. If one thing in your entire bin or your entire bag is contaminated, the entire bin or bag 
is probably going to landfill. Another similarity to plastic is that the recycling process for glass is really hefty. Sure, there are many more benefits to recycling glass than recycling plastic, but it's still a lot of work, time, and effort, and money. Getting recycled glass ready for reuse takes a lot of processing, which is also done ineffectively in the US. Transporting glass waste can also be expensive and wasteful due to the weight. These costs can then be the deal breaker for glass makers. This cost plus the cost of actually recycling it might cost the same or even more than just making virgin glass the same issue we saw with plastic. Something that local recycling facilities have done and will probably continue to do is what we call bottle bills. This is an incentive program that gives customers a bit of money back for each bottle returned. States with this program see a 98% recycling rate, while states without such programs see a 33% recycling rate of glass. Though this still remains an issue, the legislation is up to the states and not the whole nation. Unlike many European countries, however, that have national legislation and not local. This therefore encourages and mandates recycling processes in Europe and makes a recycling rate much higher. It is just not common to have the knowledge and the education about recycling and even the desire to do so. And that is because recycling is just not the norm in the US, still. Our culture is a throwaway culture and it really hurts. <laughs> even when recycling is presented as an option, people will still toss recyclables into the trash. I have seen so many people do this. I see this at work and it especially frustrates me at work because we have our trash can and our recycle bin right next to each other and people will throw their Starbucks cup in the trash. I'm like, I take that as a great teaching opportunity to teach my coworkers about the benefits of recycling and why we should not be using so much single use in the first place. Even in households and communities where recycling is very, very strong and very, very encouraged, it should still be a last resort, especially with glass. So we'll explore this further when it comes to aluminum and other types of metals, as well as cardboard and paper, but those are a lot more easily recyclable and don't take thousands of years to break down, unlike plastic and glass. So if you have plastic or glass, particularly glass in this case, recycling should be your last option. This jar is a great jar. It would be great if you made your own jam or your own peanut butter, or if you wanted to take it to a bulk store, if you wanted to put some flowers in it. There's endless opportunities with this jar the last resort should be throwing it in the recycle bin. If you don't have a use for it, you can ask around your neighborhood, you can ask local schools, local arts and craft centers, see if they would have any use for this because chances are people would love to have free jars as opposed to buying new and then this doesn't have to go to landfill or the recycling center, though it would probably go to landfill. I say this a lot on my channel, recycling and throwing things away should be the last resort. Think about how you can reuse it, how you can upcycle it, how you can repurpose it, and of course, before even all that, think about what you can reduce. There is so much you can do, especially with glass before it comes to trash and recycling. Yes, recycling is great in some areas, but especially in the US, the recycling rates are just not good enough that we really need to do stuff more as consumers. The recycling system is not perfect anywhere in the world, so try to think of recycling as your last resort. But you still might be wondering, like I mentioned in the beginning, is glass recycling handled domestically in the US? And in the case for the US, almost all glass recycling is handled domestically, which is good news, right? Notice I said handled and not recycled. That is because the US does handle our glass. The recycling rate is still really, really low. So this was another one of those items that we used to send to China because they handled all of our recycling, I think like 10 years ago or so, but we quit shipping it to them, I think before we even quit shipping plastic to them. I'm not quite sure. I'll leave some articles linked down below. But basically it was way too much weight to ship it over there. Most of it would break before they even got there. And then broken glass can't be recycled because it's just so dangerous for people to handle. So there was just a lot of risks shipping it to China, so we just decided to stop. Plus, China banned imports of garbage. So, a lot of reasons why China doesn't handle it anymore. But you might be wondering, that's good, right? We don't want people to handle our trash. While it is true, it is unfortunately still not recycled, even when handled locally. The majority of the market for recycling is overseas. It is expensive to recycle domestically, and it, because it is so cheap to make virgin glass, why should we even recycle it anyways? When you're looking at it from a manufacturer's point of view, they would just much rather get some sand for, for cheap than have all this glass shipped to them because it's more expensive. They're always gonna choose a cheaper option. Both outcomes, whether shipping it overseas or going to landfill are unfortunate. While yes, glass is a natural product, unlike plastic, and has a great recycling life, also unlike plastic, it still takes thousands of years for it to break down naturally, just like plastic. So now that we know what happens to both plastic and glass, which material is better? This is a tricky one and it can be argued both ways. I'd like to dive into this deeper on my channel after I go in depth onto each four materials first, and then I'd like to do a big 
deep dive into which material truly is the best. But for now, we're gonna argue between glass and plastic. So the short answer is no single use item is good to purchase. I mean, I'm guilty of still buying single use items. I just can't help it sometimes. The goal is to always reuse, repurpose, one of those other R words, before you recycle or throw it away. I've said that so many times this video, I'm so sorry. So no matter the material, even if it's cardboard or metal, it's still not great if it's single use. I'm not saying that you have to, but if it's possible for you, try to avoid unnecessary single use items. So if someone just hands you a straw or a napkin and you don't need it, just say, no thank you. And literally refusing single use items and ditching them is as easy as that in some cases. So if you do have to choose between plastic and glass, particularly single use, I would choose glass personally, and here's why. I think mainly because the recycling rate of glass is much higher, that's really the real reason. Even though glass also takes thousands of years to decompose and break down, at least when it does break down, it's a natural material, unlike plastic, because when it breaks down and it gets into our oceans, inevitably, it breaks into microplastics that never break down and never break down and never break down and just get smaller and smaller and smaller, and it's not a natural material. So even though they do last the same amount of time, if they were to both just be sitting there in nature, at least glass is natural. And lastly, I would choose glass over plastic because glass is so much easier to reuse. You can definitely reuse plastic, but it gets very, very fragile very quick and it can get really gross. Glass is so much easier to wash, so much easier to make cute and more aesthetically pleasing. Though on the flip side, plastic is a lot lighter. Therefore, the shipping emissions to ship plastic is a lot less. And another perk of plastic is that it almost never breaks, unlike glass. And this is why it can go both ways. So I encourage you to do your own research on both materials for one, as well as learn what your area does and does not recycle because for you, depending on where you live in the world, your recycling rates might be even. Your plastic recycling rate might be higher than glass. It really does depend on your area. So personally, for me, especially when I was living in the US, I would always choose glass over plastic, mostly because of the recycling rate difference. Honestly, here in Japan, I don't know the difference. They burn all their plastic though. Is that better? Is burning plastic better than recycling glass? Japan's recycling system is weird and I still never know what to choose. So I just always try to avoid single use if possible, but I'm not great at it as you just saw with all my jars. I hope you enjoyed this second video in this topic. This one was slightly more lighter because because glass isn't killing wildlife and killing people and stuff. Again, I'd like to dive deeper into all these different materials on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I probably should say that at the beginning. I'm Emma, I talk about all sorts of things environmentalist wise, I talk about zero waste life hacks. I talk about the life cycle of materials like we did today. I talk about world issues like environmental racism and stuff like that. So if you like all things of that nature, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell if you don't wanna miss any more videos. Don't forget to hit the like button. It really does help support my channel. And if you find any value in this video, I would love if you shared with others as well. That's just something I like to emphasize on this channel because I feel like the community that I'm growing here, we are all very like-minded and we all already think this way about zero waste when there's a whole other population of people who know nothing about recycling and zero waste. So if you want to educate your friends and your family, I'd really appreciate it if you shared this video. And I just wanna say thank you for taking the time out of your day to spend some time with me and learn something more about recycling. Super fun, I know. And until next time, remember that these small changes you make have a big impact on the long run. Bye guys. Pollution wise and carbon emissions. Is that right, carbon emissions? I don't know. Have I been looking at the camera this whole time? Another similarity to plastic is that the recycling prog- <laughs> I'm literally reading it off the phone. What are you doing? Oh, frick. Does it look okay? It looks fine. This, therefore, encourages and mandates recycling processes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes, this one's not gonna be long. While that is true, it's an unfortunate- <laughs> While it is true, it is an unfortunate- Oh my gosh. I swear they weren't flying four seconds ago. Seven, six, eight? Quit doing math. This is an environmentalist channel. Where is I even saying? First, I think it's because glasses recycling glasses. Learn what your area does and does not recycle. Recycle.